There's something that's that's um, that's really nice about and very lucky, I suppose, to be earning a living from doing something that you really, really enjoy. You know, I've kind of worked in other jobs in, in my past. I kind of made that conscious decision to just be like, right, this is what I want to do, and, and just kind of pursue that. I think, yeah, I think the the younger versions of myself would would quite like that. Um, I sometimes don't think that I've changed that much from when I'm 18, but I suppose I look back and that I, yeah, I, de I definitely have. I got invited by yourselves at Double Deer to be part of this event. It's the event with the um, film that I was part of for Pip Recordings, which was Northern, oh, sorry, it is Northern Disco Lights. Everybody was fishers or farmers or something. Skateboarding was illegal in Norway until the end of the 80s. We grew up in that age, in the middle of it. Um, and Pepe Vision was only started really just because of the film. So the, the, it's kind of quite cross, cross pollinating, I suppose, in terms of promo and what's attached to it. But it's, it's yeah, the only difference is Pepe Vision. Is, has been set up to do the film. Um, paper recordings was started a long time ago now as I say I, and again I, I can't quite remember the number that we're up to in terms of releases but it's it's definitely plus 20 years that it's been running and that was started on the back of everyone who was involved with it, Ben, Pete and there was also Elliot and Miles at the time. It stopped and it became just a digital label and by that time it was just Pete and Ben that was involved with it and then I came on board at that time as well. It was I was I was always DJing more. I, I don't. It's it's strange. It, it's strange now to, to to say that or to think that I I probably never thought. Yeah, I really really want to produce music. I really want to produce music. I, I think it just naturally came along because I was I was DJing so much. I suppose I just got to a point where I was DJing in some good parties and I, I, I played in quite a few you know, some quite far flung places as well. And it's like, well, what? How do you progress to the next stage? And it always seemed like such a. a a minefield of just, oh, I could never do that, I could never do it. And I, and I think then I had gotten into it, right, I really want to produce music, but I want to produce music. It just kind of naturally naturally went that way. And now it's, it's I love being in the studio and I get really frustrated when I can't be in the studio. But um, yeah, I mean, I've not, I've not got any wishes or desires to say, yeah, I need to record an album, I need to do this, I need to do that. I just kind of take things as, as and when they come. It drives around and Quite an amazing thing to, to make some music and then see people enjoying it when 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 you're DJing and you, and you can play something and, and they you know everybody's dancing and enjoying that particular track. I've known other DJs to be playing it. I've, I've always never really. I suppose it's that thing of not liking to hear your own voice or see yourself on TV. It's kind of like when it's your own music, you're always a little bit unsure about it. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you.